Good night and welcome to Banal Madana's first English news broadcast. Digital Cosa del Sol brings you every Friday all the information about this week's news. The mayor of Banal Madana, Juan Antonio Lara, received the Councillor for Environment and Blue Economy, Ramon Fernández Pacheco, this week at City Hall to discuss matters such as the project for the marina and the Senda Litoral. Benalmadena Town Hall joined this Monday the Andalusian Network of a Green and Sustainable Cities promoted by Junta de Andalucía. The signing ceremony took place with the presence of Ramón Fernández Pacheco, head of the Andalusian Environment and Blue Economy Ministry, accompanied by our mayor Juan Antonio Lara and other members of the corporation. Fernández Pacheco held a working meeting with the mayor in which they discussed several issues. Lara highlighted the value of the collaboration between administrations. My commitment is to achieve a greener Benalmadena in this legislature, making projects such as the future Albaitar Park that will be at the forefront of Europe a reality. Benalmadena must commit to being a municipality that protects nature. We want to be a city with environmental awareness that understands and respects that natural resources are not infinite and we must take care of them, as we take care of our municipality in other areas every day. Benalmadena aspires to be a circular city which reduces, reuses and recycles materials and waste and waste less, as a resilient city capable of adapting to climate change and that advocates the use of clean and non-polluting energy source, it is a determined commitment by this new government team. We are changing lights for LEDs, which illuminate better and pollute much less. Recently also approving another million euros to acquire a large amount to transform the lighting of our entire municipality. For his part, Fernández spoke on the Reversa project, municipalism, and valued the tourist reference that is Benalmadena. Reversa is fundamentally a two-way communication channel that wants to serve as a lever for municipalities to accelerate their transformation towards environmental sustainability, circularity and the protection and conservation of nature. Benalmadena has at its disposal all the tools to be a green and sustainable city, which is the same as being a city prepared to face the challenges of the 21st century. The best way way to do politics in Andalusia is the one that goes hand in hand with local entities, which are closest to the citizens. That is why we put all the machinery of the Junta de Andalucía at the service of the City Council and the commitment of the President, Juanma Moreno, to carry out the large projects that the municipality demands and needs. Benalmadena wants to take another step to make the municipality a greener, more sustainable space that has the necessary tools to face the effects of climate change. The association Lucky Kilter celebrated this week a ceremony of recognition to impose medal to groups and individuals of Benalmadena in order to thank their help during the work in Ukraine. The mayor of Benalmadena, Juan Antonio Lara, together with the Consul of Ukraine in Malaga, Svetlana Kramarenko, the president of Lucky Quilters, Oksana Mader, and members of the municipal corporation, preceded over the solemn ceremony last week at the Casa de la Cultura to recognize the ties that unite Spain and Ukraine after the outbreak of war. This is the first time in Europe that the Ukrainian organization Esprit Drastnitz has awarded this medal to foreigners choosing Benalmadena and the herd of Arroyo de la Miel as the location for the celebration. The event presented by Fernando Fernández starts with the intervention of the president of Lucky Quilters. Me gustaría leerles. I want to thank the dedication and dedication of those who received the award at the ceremony because it is a recognition of immense value and symbolism. Your work has been essential to save lives and alleviate the damage of this senseless war. The Lucky Quilters Association began its work to foster relations between peoples, promoting peace and harmony and promoting textile art. Now they are dedicated to social work such as making cushions for sick people from associations and collaborations collaborate with parish and GNOs by sending the proceeds to Ukraine and other countries. 
Afterwards, we were able to listen to the words of Kramarenko, who emphasized the solidarity and twinning between citizens and nations. On his part, Lara had words of thanks for all the people recognized and also highlight the importance of Penalmadena's associative network. Es un honor en... Ben Almadena is proud of Lucky Quilters and of all those honored in this act in the Casa de la Cultura, but even more proud of their support for Ukraine. I thank you on behalf of our city because Ben Almadena is very proud of all of you and your support for Ukraine, which has been incredible. I know the suffering you have endured for so long because I have been by your side during these almost 20 long months of invasion. Your concern for your relatives and friends who remain in Ukraine, your fight for the strength of reason, principles and the search for peace, the tireless and unconditional work you have carried out. I want you to know that you are not alone, that Ben Almadena is with you, that the whole of Ben Almadena society accompanies and supports you in the defense of your legitimate cause the cause of international law, of territorial integrity, of sovereign and, above all, of peace. The event featured a performance by soprano Nadia Yurko, former soprano in the Kharkiv Regional Philharmonic. Among others, there were awards for representatives of the local police and the city council, as well as for groups such as the Yoga Savasana Association and Caritas. The ILO Double Project is an initiative that works for the labor insertion of people at risk of social exclusion with circular economy initiatives. This week, they signed a collaboration agreement with the Town Hall of Ben Almadena. The mayor of Ben Almadena, Juan Antonio Lara, and Education Councilwoman Lucia Lleves held a meeting on Monday with the head of the ILO Double Project, Maria Jose Santos, to sign a collaboration agreement for the transfer of tarpaulins and other plastics with the aim of promoting circular economy. Lara praised the signing of this agreement, highlighting the importance of collaborating with projects that fight against social exclusion. ILO Double is a project involving two non-profit organizations that help people in special situations of vulnerability, using discard materials from public administrations with the aim of giving them a new use. Through the transfer of tarpaulins and other types of plastic via agreements with town councils and public entities, this Malaga project makes diaries, wallets, all kinds of accessories from key rings, bags, rucksacks, folders and spectacle cases, among others. We want to support this cause because it gives jobs to those who need them and reconverts products that nobody wants anymore into something new for everyday use with great tailoring. For her part, Santos gave details about the project, which has been active for four years. This agreement serves to give a second life to those things that are no longer useful, opening a new path to the circular economy combined with social inclusion with the facilities that we can provide. Ilo Doble has agreements with municipal companies, and now we are going to sign it with the council, something vital for an entity like us that works with people who lack resources or who, for one reason or another need that employment which is so necessary for them and their families. She also spoke about the results of the project and told us how to collaborate with them. With this collaboration, we can keep working to help empowering our users. You can collaborate with us in two ways. On the one hand, by donating tarpaulins, but if there is no sale of articles, we do not create employment. So we ask that responsible consumption is exercised by consuming products of this type. For the proper functioning of the sewerage and drainage networks, it is vital to maintain regular cleaning and maintenance work, such as that one being carried out by the council in different areas of the municipality. Cleaning Councilman Juan Olea spoke with us at Avenida Cerro del Viento to highlight a sewer cleaning campaign. Emavesa has begun the special autumn campaign to clean the scalpers in order to prevent blockages and flooding. Olea highlighted the work of Emavesa and the importance of foresight. During this intensive campaign, the aim is to link approximately 3,000 scappers and around 1,000 linear meters of transversal gradients. To do this, the municipality has been divided into five sectors, and MAVESA's technicians are making those that need cleaning most urgently in the most sensitive areas where water accumulates. 
The cleaning of the scalpers consists of removing sediment from the manhole or receptacle of the scalper, cleaning the grunting and, where possible, cleaning the main connections to the main sewer. Accompanying the councilman were the consular delegate of MOBESA Enrique Moya and its manager Pedro del Campo. Moya reminded the public that the city's sewage system begins at home, calling for responsibility. From MOBESA, we remind the public that the city's sewage system begins at home, and we're making a call for its appropriate use, because the opposite can cause breakdowns and dangerous situations in the general system. For his part, Del Campo stressed the importance of these actions in view of the arrival of autumn. Como todos los años por esta fecha, en It should be remembered that most of the scalpers fill up with waste in autumn due to the fall of leaves from the trees and the waste thrown by people on the public highway. And when the streets are swept, all the dirt ends up in the sewers. So we should not throw waste on the public highway and encourage the use of litter bins. Emabesa carries out year-round maintenance of the sewage network and the different pumping stations throughout the municipality, and to this end has a mixed suction impulsion sewage cleaning track that operates throughout the year. Planet Explora has been promoting science in our municipality and in the province for more than 10 years. Last week we were able to find out more about their environmental and education awareness program in Benalmadena Reciclas. Environment Council man Juan Olea held a press conference last week to present the environmental communication and awareness campaign in Benalmadena Reciclas. Olea, who was accompanied by the director of Ciencia Divertida Planeta Explora, Germán Bernal, was delighted with the initiative, thanking the organizer for his work in our municipality. La verdad que nos congratula anunciar desde el equipo de gobierno Our commitment to education, sustainability and the environment is a fundamental and strategic axis and en Benalmadena Reciclas is a very important work possibility that we want to highlight. The main themes of the campaign are the contents of recycling, care of water and the need for efficient use in the face of the problem of drought and the practice of recycling with dynamics and games that improve our skills in this area. We are excited to be able to articulate a service like this, supported by proven and prestigious professionals such as Planeta Explora, with whom our town is a total reference in scientific and environmental education among the Andalusian educational community, positioning Benalmadena as a key center in STEM education and visit in the last decade by more than a quarter of a million students from all over Andalusia. On his part, Bernal emphasized that the goal is to inform the race awareness of the importance of recycling. The campaign has its main mission, the promotion of positive attitudes towards the need to recycle and care for the rational use of water among school children and the general public. It is a work that is supported by the great educational work of our school community and is a complement to the environmental education area of each school because the best way to contribute to increasing recycling levels is to raise awareness among children. The campaign will focus on educating through actions and in addition to visiting schools, there will be an interactive traveling module. From the classroom, the message of the campaign has an important reach because, on the one hand, it goes directly to our children and from them to their families, to the homes of Benalmadena. The campaign is aimed at all public and private schools in the town and will be coordinated and delivered by the Benalmadena professionals of Planeta Explora. In addition, the service will have a dynamization module that will be located in local parks so that the message is brought closer to families and citizens in a direct way, always with an entertaining and accessible format and methodology. And these are today's headlines. Fernández Pacheco visits Ronald Madera. Lucky Kilter celebrates a recognition ceremony. City Council signs an agreement with Hilo Doble. New sewer cleaning campaign. Knowledge and fun to improve the environment. The 
weather forecast for the weekend will leave us with fairly cloudy skies with intervals of high clouds inland on the coast, intervals of low clouds. Minimum temperatures rising to 19 and maximum temperatures unchanged around 29. Winds from the southeast in the northern half with light and variable in the rest. And that's all. Thank you for watching us and remember you can stay updated on our website or social media profile on Facebook and Twitter. Have a good night and enjoy the weekend.